Hello everyone. In this video, we have this interesting exponential equation. We have 256 to the power sine squared x plus 256 to the power cos squared x is equal to 68. And we have to find the value of x. But before we begin, if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. It is free. There's no charges on that. And you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. First of all, let's change the basis on the left hand side of the equation. 256 could be written as 4 to the power 4, then all to the power sine squared x plus 4 to the power 4, all to the power cos squared x is equal to 68. Straight away, we can multiply this 4 by this sine squared x. So you have 4 to the power 4 sine squared x plus 4 to the power 4 cos squared x, and this is 68. Let's change this cos squared x to sine squared x by using the famous equation that is cos squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. If we make cos squared x the subject, we have cos squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So let's replace this cos squared x with this 1 minus sine squared x. So you have 4 to the power 4 sine squared x plus 4 to the power 4 times 1 minus sine squared x. And this is equal to 68. Now we have 4 to the power 4 sine squared x plus 4 to the power, let's distribute this 4. So we have 4 to the power 4 minus 4 sine squared x is equal to 68. Then we will apply a power rule which states that a to the power m minus n is equal to a to the power m divided by a to the power n. So we have 4 to the power 4 sine squared x plus 4 to the power 4 divided by 4 to the power 4 sine squared x is equal to 68. Then we will let y equal to 4 to the power 4 sine squared x, where y is never equal to zero because of this denominator over here. So the equation now becomes y plus 4 to the power 4 is 2, 5, 6 divided by y is equal to 68. If we multiply through by y, we have y to the second power plus 2, 5, 6 is equal to 68 y. We have a quadratic equation over here, so we will equate everything to zero. So we have y to the second power minus 68y plus 256 is equal to zero. We will look for two factors that when we multiply them, we'll be getting positive 256, but when we sum them up, we'll be getting negative 68. And the factors are negative 4 and then negative 64. So the equation now becomes y squared minus 4y minus 64y plus 256 is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can take y out. So you have y times y minus 4. Then from here, we can take negative 64 out. And then we have y minus minus four and this is equal to zero. Then let's also take y minus four out so that we get y minus four times y minus 64 is equal to zero. At this point, we can say that y minus four is equal to zero or y minus 64 is equal to zero. So here we have y to be four, then this side we have y to be 64. But remember that we let y equal to 4 to the power 4 
sine squared x. So when y is 4, we have 4 to the power 4 sine squared x is equal to 4. The bases are the same, so straight away we can equate their exponents. So we have 4 sine squared x is equal to 1 because this 4 has a power of 1. Now let's go ahead and then divide each side of the equation by 4. So that this and this will go, we have sine squared x is equal to 1 over 4. To get rid of the squared here, we will take square root on each side of the equation. So that this and this will go, we have sine x is equal to plus or minus 1 half. Then when y is 64, we have 4 to the power 4 sine squared x is equal to 64. And we can write 64 as 4 to the third power. And now we see that the bases are the same, so we can equate their exponents. So we have 3 is equal to 4 sine squared x. So we have 4 sine squared x is equal to 3. Then we will divide each side by 4. So that this and this will go, we have sine squared x is equal to 3 over 4. Let's get rid of the squared by taking square root on each side of the equation. So that this and this will go, we have sine x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. So now, when sine x is equal to plus or minus 1 half, let's draw a Cartesian plane. Then on this Cartesian plane, we will draw a unit circle. A unit circle is a circle whose radius has a magnitude of 1 unit. Right, so we have this point to be 1, 0, then we have negative 1, 0, then here we have 0, negative 1, and then this side we have 0, 1. Then we will draw a radius. Since it's a unit circle, the radius has a magnitude of 1 unit. Then we will draw our angle here, the angle is x, then our vertical component which is one half. Now with this, we see that the angle is 30 degrees. 30 degrees in radian will be pi over six. Now this six over here means that we are dividing the semicircle above the x axis into six equal parts of angle 30 degrees, right? Now the easiest way to do that is to draw the last angle that is 30. Right here is also 30 degrees. So what it means is that from here to here is 180 minus 30 degrees, which is 150 degrees, right? And 150 degrees in radian will be 5 pi over 6. Then below the x axis, we also draw another 30 degrees. 30 plus 180, that is 210. So you have 210 degrees from this side up to this angle over here. 210 degrees. And 210 degrees in radian will be 7 pi over 6. Then lastly, you will draw another 30 degrees here. 360 minus 30 degrees, that is 330. So from this point to this point, the angle is 330 degrees. And 330 degrees in radian will be 11 pi over 6. So it means that the value of x when sine x is equal to positive 1 half, we have x is equal to pi over 6 plus 2 pi n, where n belongs to integer. Then x is equal to 5 pi over 6 plus 
plus 2 pi n where n also belongs to an integer so this is the value of x when x is one half that is the part above the x axis right so let's consider when sine x is equal to negative one half that is the part below the x axis so we would have x is equal to 7 pi over 6 plus 2 pi n where n belongs to an integer and lastly we have x is equal to 11 pi over 6 plus 2 pi n where n also belongs to an integer so these are the values of x when sine x is equal to plus or minus one half now let's move on to when sine s is equal to plus or minus root 3 over 2 you draw another Cartesian plane then on this Cartesian plane we still draw our unit circle then we draw a radius whose magnitude is 1 then the vertical component we have root 3 over 2 then still we have here to be 1 0 0 1 0 negative 1 then this point will be negative 1 0 then the angle will be 60 degrees and 60 in radian will be pi over 3 so it means that we have to divide the semicircle above the x axis into three equal parts so we will draw another angle here then from here is 60 so this one will also be 60 60 plus 60 is 120 so from this point to this point the angle is 120 degrees 120 degrees in radian will be 2 pi over 3 then we also draw another 60 degrees angle here 60 plus 180 degrees will be 240 degrees so from this point to this point the angle is 240 degrees 240 degrees in radian will be 4 pi over 3 and lastly we we'll draw another 60 degrees angle here we know that the total angle is 360 360 minus 60 we are left with 300 degrees so from here up to here is 300 degrees in radian that will be 5 pi over 3 so when sine x is equal to positive root 3 over 2 we have x is equal to pi over 3 plus 2 pi n where n is an integer then x is equal to 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi n where n is also an integer then when sine x is equal to negative root 3 over 2 we have x is equal to the part below the x as a so you have 4 pi over 3 plus 2 pi n where n belongs to an integer then x is equal to 5 pi over 3 plus 2 pi n where n is also an integer so guys these are the values of x subscribe to my channel for more videos i hope you enjoyed watching this video like comment and share take care bye bye